Hello and thanks for joining. Today we're going to quickly look at the top 20 Linux terminal commands for beginners. These are essentially the basic commands uh, every beginner should consider learning. So let's dive straight into it. The first command is uh, for you to check who it's it's quite literally who am i so who am i it's going to tell you what the uh, the user the name of the user the current user of the system so that's the name of the user on this particular system at the moment so that's a uh, srv001 user uh, the second command is print working directory pwd so it's going to tell you that's you trying to uh find out where exactly you are in the uh, file system so from this output you can see i am currently in the root direct uh, the home slash home directory slash uh, srv001 user slash uh, git repo so that's a directory uh, just to see print working directory where am i currently the next one, number three, the third one is ls. So ls is list. You're listing uh, the current content of this directory. So I've printed yeah, pwd. It, show, it, it shows where I'm at currently. And ls is just, it's just to say these are the files and these are the directories. So files are of essentially this. These are files. Then directories are the ones uh, uh, in. Uh, the color of blue so in some terminals it's not necessary that you would see this difference so you can use ls dash l to know you know that's like a long listing so the ones that start with d that's those are directories and then uh, with with dash that's a, that's a file so that's in case you do an ls and you don't see the colors uh, that's how you can differentiate between directories and so uh the next command number four is uh copy uh copy is just cp so let me do the normal ls or oh, let's clear this uh, that's another command clear uh so let's let's just make clear uh, uh, one of the lists of commands so you're just clearing the terminal at the moment so next one is copy so if i do ls we are listing the contents of this directory. So I've got some files here, read, readme.md. Uh, so I can copy a file. So I can say copy. I want to copy the file uh, readme.md to a new, I'm, I'm giving that file a new name. So copy readme.md to uh, maybe new readme.txt. So hit enter if you list the contents of the directory. Now you'd see that we have a new file uh, called new readme.txt. Uh, the next command is uh, mv. So uh, that's move. Move is used to, uh, it's used for uh, renaming files essentially. So let's say the new file we just uh, copied now. We can say uh, move mv new new read so i i have uh, so new read me so i want to do a uh, mv new read me i want to move that or rename that to uh just just anything just read just read.txt so if i hit enter you can see now we can do an ls with an ls you see a new file has been created read dot that's it's been moved to read dot txt so uh, it's used for renaming files uh, files and, and directories as well so the next command we're looking at is um, nano by nano i mean uh, just a text editor so text editing we have, for example, this file that's here, the new file uh, read.txt. If we want to edit the file, there are many text editors out there, but Nano is, is easy for beginners. There are, there are others, but so if we say Nano, let's say we want to edit read.txt. Nano, read.txt, if you hit enter, you can see you're in the file now. So you just use arrows directional. 
um, arrows. So for example, we want to add something here, just say new content to this line, just anything. So um, you can see we can use this combination uh, caret so that's control x to exit the text editor or we can write this that's like saving without uh, uh, quitting but let's just do uh, control x it's going to ask us if you want to save this so if you say uh, y is yes uh, n is no so just press y and it will ask you if you want to update the name so we're just going to leave that as is or we can say read one and hit enter uh, save under a different name where we want to update the name. So if you want to do that, you say yes. Now, if you ls, you can see there is a new file that is read1.txt. You can quit nano without saving. So for example, I can say nano uh, read1.txt, right? So uh, I want to just exit. Maybe I don't want to edit the file anymore. I'll just do control X, control X, and it will take me out next command uh, so nano you're editing a file so next command is touch touch is just to create a file a new file so if i say i can say touch uh file let's say file one dot txt just any a text file or any file if you do ls the file will be there but the file is empty so you can use a text editor to edit the file we can do nano file the txt and write something uh, new file and uh, save it control x is going to ask us yes we want to save it yes and now if we uh, view the content of file dot file one dot txt with our next command which is cut you will see that this the, the content is new file so uh, after cut uh, is mkdir let's let me clear mkdir if you want to create a directory we have uh, we've seen how you can create a file we've seen how you can list directory so let's say you want to create a directory you can do mkdir make a directory uh, test uh, yeah, directory test there yeah. so ls is going to show you that we now have uh, a test dir directory so let's let me try to uh, ls now we have a test yeah test dir directory just so you can see uh, you can see that directory or i can uh, yeah ls so we have a test dir directory and uh, the next command is to uh, remove so rm will remove will get rid of a file so if we do ls i can remove the let's say we want to remove read.txt i can just do rm dot um rm text read.txt uh, so that file if you do an ls that file is gone then the next command uh, for uh, after remove is uh, to change directory so cd if we're trying to change directory to a new uh, location so cd is essentially change directory so if i do an ls again just to uh, update this so let's say we want to go to this directory up here that's um, uh, this my uh, github uh, web page so let's say we want to go to haruna github.io so we'll just cd into the directory and one uh, bonus i didn't mention is using the tab key so if you start typing you can uh, use the tab uh, key on your keyboard to autocomplete uh, what you've already started typing. So, for example, I just typed, uh, let me go back a bit. I just said uh, um, CD, HA, and tab to complete it. So, CD, enter. So, now if I do PWD, I'm in, you can see the path now. It means I am in this um, directory. So, that's CD. The next one is echo. Echo just prints to the screen. So, I can say echo hello world those um if you are a php developer if you do any form of programming you should be familiar with uh, echo for example so echo will just print so it's printing to the screen echo can you can also print some uh, you can also um echo content um a string into a file that's existing what do i mean by that so if we do an ls here we have uh, let me go back ls 
ls here we have um, file one.txt if we check the contents of file one.txt you see it's new file right now it's new file but we can uh, echo something uh, maybe new content a string that is new content and redirect it to so we are essentially inserting into if you like we, we redirect it to uh, file.txt if you hit enter now the content of new file.txt should have um which okay file one file one the content of of file one.txt should have new content in it uh, output and input redirection is uh, a different uh, topic on its own but it's it's easy it's essentially just trying to put a content of a, a new string or new text into uh, an existing file or even a file that does not exist uh, it will be created uh, another f uh, um, command is grep so grep is like searching for a particular uh, file or directory so now you see let me clear this if i do an ls it lists all the contents of this directory uh, with grep I can do an ls then use the pipe symbol on your keyboard so uh, pipe should be shift then you see the pipe symbol uh, pipe uh, pipe symbol shift press uh, the pipe symbol then ls and look for let's say i'm trying to find out if there is a file called read one uh, in this directory if i hit enter you can see it returns the output but this time around it's only returning uh, the output with read one uh, you can do something maybe read so it's going to search the directory and return only uh, files that have read in them uh, so that's that's great so just fine of course it's uh, a little bit more sophisticated than this but this uh, this like me trying to show you how uh, to use it essentially then the next command we are going to look at is man so man is for manual pages so we can say man nano that's going to give you the manual pages like info about a particular command if you don't know what the command does what how to use it for example you can use uh, nano so you can see the name of the command for example you can use man so the name of this command uh, nano nano is another editor inspired by pico so we have the synopsis uh you would see how to use it and you read the description everything about so you can do that with uh, uh, virtually any command you don't know how it works next command is uh, ifconfig so ifconfig is uh uh, related to networking in a way because it helps you to find out what your IP address is so you're trying to if you're trying to know what your IP address is what's your subnet mask and what's the MAC address of your um, uh, co current connection is then you can use ifconfig so let's clear this so the next command is uh, top so top if I say top it's going to show me the processes that are running who, who is the user process id what's the cpu and memory the the process is consuming so that's if your system is slow for whatever reason you will try you can use top to find out what's hogging that uh, memory or, or cpu so to quit you just use q to get out of uh of top um, the next command is a uh, sudo so sudo gives you uh, root access so that's you trying to elevate to run to install stuff so for example let's say i'm trying to install um git dnf is a package manager so dnf install it, package manager in rel based systems so debian based systems make use of apt so apt as their package manager so since this system i'm using is a rel based system it's actually rocky 9 os linux um so D dnf install let's say git if i'm trying to install git so you can see the command uh, has to be run as super with super user privileges on the roots because i am not um root you can see let me that's where sudo comes in so i can say sudo dnf install git uh the password yeah so now 
uh, that that went through but because i already have git installed on this computer it says uh, nothing to do the package is already installed but that's just essentially uh sudo allows you to elevate your privilege to become a uh, root to execute commands that only root would be able to execute otherwise uh the next command is uh df so the df you display the disk uh usage so if i say df let me if i say this df that's disk free if i say df um i would see the current file the disks on my system the file systems uh, the uh, utilization what's used what's available where it's mounted so df dash h is an output it, it will give you like a human readable output so it's much easier to see in megabytes or gigabytes if you of different directories so next command is uh du du is disk uh disk um uh, usage that's what's 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 currently being used so d du uh if i do du dash h same way df dash h gives you human readable the same way you see the usage of uh, your disk here different uh files that i, I have in this uh, current directory so with all these uh, commands the last one i would say or the bonus i would i would add to this is the history command so what that will do is to give you the history of all the commands you can see the commands we've been we, we've run so far df sudo uh, this clear uh, nano everything history of the commands that has uh, that we've run um, uh, on this uh, particular terminal so that's that's basically it i hope uh, you found this uh, useful there are of course a lot of commands but these are just uh, some that i have picked uh, for you know beginners to just a way of navigating around the terminal so i would like to thank you once again uh, for watching if you're new to the channel please do consider subscribing like share and if you've got any question, drop a comment, uh, ask any question you've got.